Okay, uh, Doja Berry Terry back here. Okay, Th these are the seeds that I made today. And what I used was a half a cup of pumpkin seeds and a half a cup, can you see them? And a half a cup of sunflower seeds and a fourth of a cup of some cacao nibs cacao being the raw chocolate, nibs, not the powder, the nibs. So it kind of gets a crunch, chocolatey flavor to it. I also used, here let me bring you in a little closer here. I also used, let's see, I drizzled a fourth of a melt, this is melted, kind of melted right now, but not, it was melted earlier. All you have to do is set it outside for a minute in this Texas heat and it's melted. A fourth of of a coconut oil, pure cold press great coconut oil. And I drizzled that over the seeds and then I put a half of a teaspoon of, this is Redmond's Real Salt that I make with uh, the Asian chili peppers in it. So I put a fourth of a teaspoon of that. I put a fourth of a teaspoon of the Asian chilies. I like a lot of spice. This is very, very spicy. I grind up these chilies after they dry in my coffee bean grinder. And I put, a, uh, I put, I went, I used a whole half of a teaspoon. This is a half of a teaspoon. I used a half of a teaspoon of some cinnamon. I used a half a teaspoon of some Madagascar ground up vanilla bean. I grind it up, and, and this is pricey and hard to get these days because of what occurred with the weather in Madagascar. But there, it's still worth it to me. It's delicious. It just gives it, especially with the cinnamon and the chocolate, it just activates it. And then I put a fourth of a, I mean a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I put a half a teaspoon of the vegan Himalaya chicken salt, it's really not chicken, obviously, it's vegan, but it flavor, it kind of has a chicken flavor to it a little bit, but not over the top, and these are the cacao nibs, I have, of course, I reuse jars, and so it's, it's in a honey, old honey jar, and that's it, and then I toss all that, toss it up real great, and it just makes a really nice little quick snack, that's it. And if you don't, you don't have the cacao nibs, you might just put a little bit of cacao powder in there to just give it the flavor. I like the nibs because they, they give it more crunch. So, anyway, that's my sweet and spicy snack for the week. And I'll bag that up. And that's it. Oh, tomorrow I'll do a video on my quick, raw... Um, hopefully I'll do it tomorrow. It might be Monday. We'll see. Um, but it's raw almond milk, quick and fast. I'll show you how to make a quick and fast raw almond milk. I make the raw almond milk to go in my chia pudding. I make a vanilla chia pudding. I make a chocolate, all, all different flavors. But tomorrow I'm go or Monday, I'm going to make a, tomorrow or Monday, one of the two. I'm going to make a, I'm making a vanilla one now, but I'm going to show you how to do this. It's so easy to make this really nutritious and great dessert. It's really nutritious for you because chia seeds are awesome. So, I will do it, I promise. I'm going to do it before, ooh, we miss, miss, um, before I head out again. So, um, my chef jacket's fitting a little looser, uh, 23 days. I went before I was pooping juice. I lost probably about six pounds. I, I wasn't really needing to lose any weight. That wasn't the goal of it. The goal was to clean out the, the serpent again and to get back on the raw food path. No more cooked for me. So anyway, yes, I'm going to get a new chef jacket pretty soon. I want a, like a chef coat um, for school. So namaste. Shalom. Something on. Peace. See you soon. Love y'all. Thanks for stopping in. No glitz and glamour, just real and raw here.